Erythrodermic psoriasis is a severe form of psoriasis and the patient feels burn. In the same condition, Sandhya ji came to me in June 2023. So it's been 8 months since she was treated and now her psoriasis is completely gone. You can also see that she is psoriasis free. So when she came to me with erythrodermic psoriasis, then I gave her a recommendation to go to the hospital in an emergency. Because the condition was very severe, maybe couldn't control it. But because of their trust and our efforts, we treated her. And in a month, her condition became very stable. And the problem that she was facing like the body had been burned, she was not able to walk and not able to move at all. All those problems subsided in a month. It's been 8 months since she has been treated and it's, she's almost psoriasis free. Soon, the medicines will also be stopped. So, we will know her psoriasis experience from her and the psoriasis she was suffering from last 15 years. Because people often think that such an old disease may not be cured or can't be recovered. But when we treated her for 8 months, her erythrodermic psoriasis has now been completely treated. She will also be free from medicines in a month or very soon. We will know her experience when she came to us and what were her 15 year experience with psoriasis was like. She also has a son with her and from his experience we will know what happens to the parents when something happens to the children. Because it often happens that if something happens to the children the parents also suffer. But this is vice versa. When something happens to the parents the children also suffer. So we will now listen to her experience. Ma'am, when you came in June, what was your condition? I was in a very bad condition. I felt like I would never be able to recover. I was continuously taking medicines for 15 years, but I was not getting any relief. I used to take allopathic medicines with which I got relief for some time, but I did not get any proper relief. Then I took homeopathy medicine and my psoriasis was very severe and could not be controlled. Then when searched on phone, I saw your video. So when you came to me in June, 8 months ago, then the condition which you brought was very severe. When I told you to go to the hospital because the condition was terrible, so how did it happen? So how did you develop an erythrodermic psoriasis? I was taking allopathic medicine continuously. So I thought that these medicines might cause liver problems. So while eating, we were looking for ayurvedic or homeopathic medicines that my disease goes away from the root. So the homeopathic doctor said, take my medicine and this disease will be completely eradicated from you. So I took, but doctor said that first your psoriasis will increase and then it will gradually subside. But my psoriasis increased, but then it did not reduce. Then I started having a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. When I came to you, my condition was terrible. You were also having fever, right? I also had a fever, a very high fever in the month of the June. The fever and swelling were very high. There was a lot of swelling and fever. In the months of June, I used to lie down without a fan and even then I felt cold. And the flakes were coming out a lot. There was difficulty in lying down, nor could I move properly. And because of this, I could not sleep the whole night. And there was a lot of fever too. When I contacted you, I came here. I am getting a lot of relief from the medicine here and today I am feeling very relaxed and have also gotten relief from psoriasis. How are you feeling now? Now I am feeling very happy inside. I am very happy. And I also tell everyone and if I get someone like this, then I tell everyone that you go and get treatment from Dr. Megha. She treats very well and accurately. So what would you like to say to the patient? Generally out of 100, I also get 5 patients who do not keep patients at all. They do not understand that this being such an old disease, if they leave their past medicines or any steroidal treatment, the disease will tend to aggravate. Whether they take our treatment or not, they lose their patients and in return, they behave very inappropriately, they have no patients left in them. So, what would you like to say to those patients? If you have started medicines, leaving allopathic medicine, it is increasing. Then you would like to say something to them to have patience and faith. One should have patience and most importantly, one should have faith. I had patience and faith because when I came to you for the first time with the condition and then the injection and medicines you gave me, I started getting relief as soon as I went home. I had a lot of redness and itching and I got a lot of relief from all of them. So in a month you got very well? I got very well, very relaxed in a month. Rest, along with a medicine, what else you did which gave you such a good relief 
as you were in such a severe condition. Whatever you told me to do, I have been doing. I have been taking your medicine, and I have gotten a lot of relief from it. And along with this, Sandhya ji also used to have and suffer with urticaria, but now she has been completely recovered from the same and does not have any urticaria signs on her skin. And regarding the injection that she talked about, we have only given her a multivitamin injection because her condition was that much severe. We had no other option, and we only gave our medicines. With her help, we were able to treat her. to a great extent in a month and i will share some pictures of sandhya ji what was her condition when she came to us and what her condition is now so sir you are his son how do you feel because we often see that when children are sick their parents are worried but when parents are sick at this age how do children feel you share a little bit of your feelings her disease had become very chronic it had been about 16 to 17 years because ever since i can remember i have seen her mostly ill First of all it started from the elbow then all the doctors whom i consulted were saying that it will not go away completely and the medicine will continue for the whole life then i heard here that the medicine will be stopped and the psoriasis will not come again so did you hear this from a one of our patient no i, I saw, saw this on the phone mobile. and learned about it only after the consultation At first we could not believe it because you also have online facilities for medicines but we did not even believe that then we decided to come and see first because the condition was very bad so we first thought that we should go and meet you because the condition was very bad so earlier there was a lot of trouble in bringing her here because her psoriasis condition was very bad how do you feel now now i feel very good and we do not even believe that psoriasis can also go because we never thought that psoriasis would be cured you never saw her psoriasis free i never saw clear psoriasis she took homeopathic and allopathic medicines in between but none of the medicines worked yes so what advice will you give to the patient so that they too can defeat their psoriasis with the same courage anyone suffering from psoriasis should come here and get treatment from dr megha because we too did not believe it in the beginning but when we saw your treatment here we believed it so you feel good seeing your mom okay yes now i feel very good are you feeling relaxed now now i feel very good i used to pray to god that i would get a chance to be fine and now i feel very fine god is the one who treats we are just the means we are doing our duty to treat anyways you maintain your diet and we try to stop your medicine and soon as possible if you also want to get relief from psoriasis then talk to us on the number given below come and meet us send your images and get the right treatment for psoriasis thank you and take care